Hi, this is Roxana for Avid Diva, and today we're going to talk about chronic illness. And you might be wondering why we're talking about that when I usually talk about business, and there is a very important reason why. Now, I don't know if you're aware, there's a rapper called Prodigy that passed away this week from sickle cell anemia, and his partner was talking about the fact that they were doing a concert on Sunday, I believe, in Las Vegas. And when the concert was over, he took off because he had, a, I think, his kid's graduation. And Prodigy stayed in Las Vegas because he wasn't feeling well and he was going to a doctor. Well, it turned out that not feeling well turned into something completely different. And he ended up getting hospitalized that night and passed away soon after. And uh, on my other channel, Metamorphosis Rocks, I was talking about the fact that when we have a condition... We have this habit of doing something that people call um, powering through or mind over matter or any other of this stupid expressions that we use to basically say we get up and we go even if we're in pain. And the reason why I'm talking about this, even though I just talked about it in another video in another channel, is because this is really important for people in business to understand. Now, I know that there's a lot of people that use the excuse that they're sick to get out of work early or get um, leave or whatever you want to call it. But the reality is there's a lot of conditions out there. And as the world keeps moving and gets, keeps getting polluted and keeps getting more, more sick, so do we. Now, when I was growing up, and I'm going to say not even 20 years ago, you used to talk about conditions against diseases, and conditions were things like anemia, uh, diabetes, uh, hypoglycemia, arthritis. They were things that were not curable per se. You could control them with medication, but you really could not cure them. And then you had diseases or illness, cancer, um, flu the chikungunya, the, my favorite, and, and dengue, which is, in Puerto Rico, dengue is like a horrible thing, and we have had dengue here in Florida. Those were things that with medication you might see a relief, or you might see it go away permanently. In a case of cancer, it's a 50-50 shot. You might get sicker, you might get better. It depends on the type of cancer, but it was considered a disease and not a condition because it's not something you can live with long term. AIDS went from being a disease that kills to a condition that you can keep with certain medication. The bottom line is this. That obviously affects the performance of an employee in a work situation. No disputing it. There's also the fact that there's a lot of us who have conditions that are really painful conditions and we would love to work, but because of our conditions, it's a little harder for us to maneuver around a work day. I don't know about you, but I don't know that many people with fibromyalgia that don't start the day relatively well and end the day in a lot of pain, but they go to work every day. In my case, I have several stomach conditions, which means there are days when I'm fine and there are days when I'll be in the bathroom pretty much all day long. And the way I used to work around that was I tried not to stress out because even though I wasn't aware, it was, I wasn't sure about it, I knew that stress had something to do with it. And the reality was that even though my job was stressful, it was a stress that you were used to because it was work-related, I guess. And so, so long as I had my mind out of my stomach and out of everything else because I was taking care of client, clients, it would go away and it would I could hold it for the 10 hours that I was at work. But I can guarantee you that as soon as I got out of work, I was sick the entire time I was off. And that is something that people don't understand. The other thing that people sometimes don't understand is that you can have a condition that is the exact same condition I do. And for many reasons, you and I are very different. For example, your pain tolerance is different than mine. You could be higher, you could be lower. It's irrelevant. It's different. You have had the condition longer, so you have some tricks that you use to keep it at bay kind of situation or 
you have a way of dealing with it. In my case, I deal with it now naturally because the medications that have been prescribed have had a number of effects, some of them related to Alzheimer's, and for obvious reasons, I have no intention of doing anything that will mess with my memory. So right now, I'm working on looking for natural methods to deal with the IBS and the Barrett's and everything else. Well, that has some consequences. If you're under a certain medication, and that's another item. You can have one medication, and I can be on medication and have a completely different medication. Yours works, mine doesn't. And what I'm trying to say is that you cannot compare one person with a disease with another person with a disease. Because there's no two stories that are alike, because none of us are similar to each other. Even twins. You might have twins with the same exact condition. And their bodies will react differently, even though they have the exact same DNA. There's a lot of reasons why. So what I'm trying to tell you, if you're a business owner, what I'm trying to tell you is that you have to take into consideration that you can't go through life thinking that everybody's lying to you and that everybody's making stuff up. You have to trust people, take people at their word. Now, if you come with it from the right place, you might be the luckiest person on the planet and all your employees will be good people. If you come from a suspicious mindset, I can guarantee you you're just setting yourself up for failure because it is what it is. You attract what you are. As far as people that have the condition, any condition, I don't care if it's sickle cell anemia, fibromyalgia, uh, Crohn's, diabetes, asthma, I don't care what condition or what illness you have. I know how it feels to go to work every day in pain. And I know how it feels that people don't understand your pain and that people think that because you look okay, you must feel okay. That is the stupidest one of all, but we deal with it. Hang in there. That's all I can tell you is hang in there. If you actually have a job that you go to every day, thank whoever you believe in, or if you don't believe in anything, thank yourself. Thank God you have a job. Because there's a lot of us that don't, that don't have a source of income, that not only are we struggling with trying to make ends meet, but we're also struggling with whatever our condition is, because when you don't have that much money, you have to learn to do with what you have. And the first thing that goes bye-byes is your treatment. It always is. Unfortunately, we don't have a government that takes care of us like other governments in other countries do. So we have to deal with what we have. And I always think it's funny that people think um, medical care is about politics and about political parties. No, medical care should be about humans, which unfortunately we don't have that in the United States. I think it's really funny that there's a lot of organizations, religious organizations, running hospitals in this country, but none of them are willing to help people out when they're really sick because they want to make their money. I don't get that either, but whatever. Anyway, that's my message for today. Just for the ones who have conditions, stay strong. And for the ones that can give opportunities to people, and those people have medical conditions. Oh, and while we're on the topic of medical conditions, I want to say something to big business. And it has to do with the HIPAA law. And I call it the HIPAA law. It's H-I-P-P-A or H-I-P-A-A or however you call it. Um, you all have taken this law. You've taken advantage of the situation that you're not supposed to ask your employee. And what you've created is a bunch of managers that are too stupid to actually care about their employees. And why do I say that? The last place I worked, because according to the law, you're not supposed to ask your employees what's wrong with them. You would have a lot of cases and a lot of situations when a person would get really sick and these people did not know how to deal with the situation. Some of them were really worried about their, 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 their employee, but they didn't want to say anything on the record because they, might, they, they were concerned that they would get fired. That's not the right way to deal with it. I understand that you don't want to pry into a person's life, 
But if a person volunteers that they have cancer, the least you can do is show some concern. I'm just saying it like it is. If a person is going through a medical situation, you should show concern. If you don't have a heart because you're a high-functioning sociopath and you just don't have a heart, that's a different story. Get some empathy on you because you will find in time that people will not be loyal to companies and to people that have no heart. That's why we have the situation that we have right now, all the way from politics to business to everything else. Nobody cares about anybody else. And the reason is because you have used the laws to shield you from possible lawsuits, but in the process you have also lost the humanity in your company. So what I'm asking you to do is to have a little heart and to help others out. And anyway, that's where I'm going to leave it today. Thank you very much for watching and have a great weekend.